Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to discuss Region 4 which is the Southern Tagalog region. But before anything else, let me introduce myself. I am Marigold Aldungog. Before we begin with our discussion, let me read to you the learning objectives. At the end of this chapter, the student shall able to know the area and location of the Southern Tagalog region. Second, know the geographical characteristic of the province of Region 4. Third, know the different tourist destination, gastronomic features, geographic profile of each provinces in Region 4. So, did you know that Southern Tagalog was the biggest region in terms of population size among the 16 regions in the Philippines? Now you know. The Southern Tagalog region encompasses 10 provinces in the southern part of Luzon, namely Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, and Quezon, which compose Region 4A, Calabarzon. And the island provinces of Oriental and Occidental Mindoro, Marinduque, Romblon, and Palawan, which compose Region 4B, Mimaropa. Endowed with rich and diverse natural resources, warm and hospitable people, and unique attraction for domestic and international visitors. For the Batangas, capital is Batangas City. The province of Batangas has land area of 316,580 hectares. It is bounded on the north by the provinces of Cavite and Laguna. So it is known for its strategic location, being a major port and gateway to Batangas Bay. So kanang Batangas City, kay daghan kikag makita ni historical landmarks, beautiful beaches, and cultural attraction. Batanga City offers a blend of modern amenities and natural beauty, making it appealing destination for both locals and tourists. These are some attractions of Batangas. The first one is Alinao. This place is a favorite destination of many Manila-based diving enthusiasts. So, ikaw, if mo visit, mo visit ka sa Batangas and you want to like kanang mag-diving, at doon ka mo visit sa Alinao. Okay, dira sila sikat. Second is the Basilica of St. Martin de Tours. Taal is said to be the biggest church in the whole of East Asia. So, dira it houses the image of St. Martin de Tours as well as replicas of the Virgin of Kaisasai. The next one is Hacienda Luok na Subo. It is the one uh, it is one of the fastest growing vacation sites in the Southern Tagalog. And next one is Laia San Juan. Kung visit kay ka sa Batangas, at tuwa sa ang Laia San Juan, kay white sand beaches na siya. This has become the major resort area in the province. Next one is Mabini Shrine. The shrine houses the thumb of their revolutionary hero. So Mabini Shrine is the historical site in the Philippines dedicated to Apollinario Mabini. So a key figure in the Philippine Revolution and the first Prime Minister of the Philippines. Located ni siya in Tanuan, Batangas. The shrine preserves artifacts and offers insight into Mabini's life, work, and significant contribution to the country's struggle for the independence during the late 19th century. Next one is beach. Nasad ni siya guys. Matabunggay Beach. This is 2 kilometer white sand beach. Ideal for water sports like swimming, boating, yachting, fishing, and skin diving. Kanang ikatulong nga picture. So mo na siya. Nagan kina siya mga activities. Water activities. Next one is Parada ng Lechon. So, Parada ng Lechon is one of the most celebrated events nila sa ng province of Batangas during which Lechon are dressed like celebrities and paraded down the street. So, mura sa nisyag sa atua pa kay Lechon Festival pero nakalahian lang kay ilaha gayng kanang like mag ilang sininaan ang mga Lechons. So, na pictures ana. This is Punta de Santiago Lighthouse. Um, built in 1890, this is one of the oldest functioning lighthouse in the country. It is offers dramatic vistas of the coastal lines of the Kalagatan. There are now several upscale private and vacation resort in the area. This is Taal Lake and Volcano. So Taal Lake is freshwater lake in the Philippines. Situated in the province of Batangas, it is known for its scenic beauty and it is one of the country's popular tourist destinations. So, sa center sa lake, na dito ang Taal Volcano, which is an active volcano and very iconic landmark. Taal Volcano is known for its unique geological setup. Okay, imagine 
lake tas na volcano making it one of the world most intriguing geological formation it is an active volcano with historical interruption and it's closely monitored due to its potential hazardous activities next one is cavite capital of cavite is tres martina city Cavite is the largest island of the Luzon Peninsula. It lies along the southern portion of Luzon. The province of Cavite is most mostly on flat grassland and its coastal province. So Cavite is governed by Governor Juanito Victor Mula together with Ramon Revilla III, the vice governor. The province is consists of seven component cities, 16 municipalities, and a total of 829 barangays. So these are the tourist attractions of Cavite. The first one is Puerto Azul. So Puerto Azul, located less than 5 kilometers from Paniman Beach, this is an abundant paradise that is golf and resort and housing estate. So today, Puerto Azul continues to operate, but large portion of it are abundant and off-limits to visitors. Pero ang rumors ani niya kay ilaha ko nuning balikon ang kaning resort sa iyahang um, sa unang uh, daghan pa ni mga customers and tourists. Next is Corregidor Island. It is a historic island located at the entrance of Manila Bay in the Philippines. It is holds significant historical and military importance. Notably, during World War II, it was a key defense post witnessing intense battles and serving a last stand against invading forces. So today, Corregidor is uh, Corregidor Island is pa popular tourist destination kay kanayahang mga kanang guba nga mga tunnels and museums. Next is Pantihan Falls. This is different type of waterfalls with water allegedly taking down the face of the cliff wall. There are actually some nipohans at the top of the falls so that you can take a picnic and enjoy the relaxing lunch. Next is Katungkulan Beach Resort, also known as Boracay de Cavite. So, mura siya Boracay ang vibe. It is actually a base for the Philippine Marines. It offers crystal clear water and things are secured here. Next one is Laguna, capital of Laguna is Santa Cruz. It is located some 30 kilometers south of Manila. It is bounded on the north by Rizal on the east and south by Quezon. There are narrow plains that can be found along shores of Laguna de Bay but mountainous toward the Sierra Madre in the east. Laguna is governed by Governor Ramil Jimenez together with the Vice Governor Catherine Agapay. The province is consists of six component cities, 24 municipalities, and a total of 681 barangays. So, so Laguna, it is known for its diverse landscape including hot spring and cinetic coastline. So these are some tourist attractions sa Laguna. First is like La Queraya, one of the most prominent man-made attraction in the province. So ang iyahang water kay nag measure siya og 50 meters at their deepest. Mabitak Church, it is built during the Spanish colonial period. It stands as an embodiment of the Philippine rich religious and architectural heritage. So, ang kanyang Mabitak Church kay iyang style kay naipagka Spanish and then ang iyang interior kay quite modern. Next one is Mount Makiling is a majestic volcanic mountain located in Laguna, Philippines. Known for its lush forest and diverse flora and fauna. So, Haning Mount Makining is very popular hiking destination. Next is Pagsanjan Falls. So, ang name dyan ani niya kay Magdapyo Falls. Kay located siya sa Magdapyo. Pero, na popular no lang ni siya sa Pagsanjan Falls because before ka maka to sa falls, need pa ni mo o shoot the rapids. Kung meaning ang shoot the rapids, kay move ka quickly kay para makalusot ana nga ka nang nag-agas na tubig. Next is Rizal Shrine contains all kind of Rizalian memorabilia ranging from pictures of the late hero and of the woman in his life to laminated. Daghan jud gayog tourist attractions dito sa Laguna, labi na ning Seven Lake, the Seven Lakes of San Pablo City, Philippines, ug ganing nasa sila ay St. Gregory Church and then Underground Cemetery. Nanani pictures mo na siya. Arenas of the Occidental Mindoro is a province in the Philippines located in the Moropo region. So its capital is Mamburao but the largest municipality is San Jose. As of 2015, Occidental Mindoro has 487,414 inhabitants. Occidental Mindoro, it is known for its stunning natural beauty. It boasts pristine beaches, lunch mountains, and vibrant coral reefs. Speaking of coral reef, Arisa Apo Reef Natural Park is the largest atoll type of reef in the Philippines. It's a crystal clear water about with life including 285 species of fish and 197 species of corals. 
And here sa Inasakan Beach, kay very powdery white sand and crystal clear turquoise water jod. So, indot kayo mag-picture-picture din he. If di kaganahan mag-beach na, say ka ng Mount Calavite is a peak located in the island of Mindoro in the Philippines. It measures 1,521 meters. Nasad sila yung Mount Iglit National Park. So, it showcases the biodiversity of Mindoro. And then, Ug di kaganahan mag beach, di sad kaganahan mag ato sa mga mountains. So nasad sila ay falls, ag balala falls, the waterfall drop to a pool with a depth of about 15 feet. For the Oriental Mindoro covers a total area of 400,238.38 square kilometers occupying the eastern section of Mindoro Island in Memorapa region. So ayang capital is Kalapan. It is bounded by the Verde Island Passage in the north, Marine Duque, Concepcion, Romblon, and Tabla Strait in the east, Simirag, and Antique in the south, and Oriental Mindoro in the west. Oriental Mindoro is currently governed by Governor Homerlito Dolor and Vice Governor Antonio Perez Jr. The province is consisting of one component city, 14 municipalities, and a total of 426 barangay. These are some tourist attractions in Oriental Mindoro. Tokuran Falls is commonly known as Tokuran Hidden Paradise. It's a tourist destination in Puerto Galera. Next is Talipanan. So best place for those who want to spend their vacation to relax and enjoy are from crowded people. So White Beach. The famous white sand beaches of Hawaii, for example, actually came from the pop-up of parrot fish. So, ang ang parrot fish kay ang um, mukha na sila og dad nga corals and then ang ilang ipup ana kay white sand so dili jud na, dapat na to kaon ang parrot fish ba kung mag mangista mo kay makatabang ba siya makakuan siya og ganang makalimpyo sa siya sa dagat and as well as makakuan siya og white sand next is Tamara waterfalls one of the most popular destination in Puerto Galera Lastly, Palawan, capital of Palawan, Puerto Princesa. Palawan stretch between Mindoro in the northeast and Bumeo in the southeast. It lies between the South China Sea and the Sulu Sea. Palawan is the country's largest province. The province is consisting of one independent city, 23 municipalities, and a total of 367 barangays. For its tourist attraction, Coron and Calamian Island, the most beautiful island in the world. Palawan has started making the name of itself in the world of tourism. Coron is known for the several Japanese shipwrecks from World War II which are located in the area. Next is the Underground River. The Underground River in Palawan, Philippines is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the new seven wonders of nature located in Puerto Princesa. O ganahan mo mado sa underground river, you can take guided boat tour in the cave. So para mas makita ninyo ang kanang mga rock formations and everything. Next is Port Baton, Bus Picture Take, White Sand Beaches, Crystal Clear Waters, and Vibrant Coral Reefs. Making it deal for snorkeling, island hopping, and relaxations. Actually, the country would guide tourist attractions sa Palawan. So that would be all, everyone. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something.